Good morning, this is Keith Paul from Bikernet Studios, and we're about to interview the Englishman, the editor of the Horse Magazine. And look at this guy, man. The guy is fucking magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, English? I'm doing great. Good. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about uh, about the history of the Smokeout. Hey, this goes back, well, this is Smokeout 12. So it goes back 11 years because there was no Smokeout Zero. <laughs> <laughs> back to uh, humble beginnings of the Days Inn and Pigeon Forge, which we were accordingly disinvited to return to. <laughs> So we got thrown out of there, then we went to Cherokee. Then we moved over to Salisbury and all changed. And it's just become a much bigger and better event ever since. It's sort of the burning man of motorcycle events, huh? That's some kind of hippie reference I don't quite understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, the burning man is an amazing event. Uh, and it just draws, it draws creative souls oh. to a, a wild place and then they, 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 they build these wild looking wooden things and burn them in the middle of the night and people dance around and, and it's just kind of a hippie it sounds very primeval. hippie yeah primeval gathering but but sort of like that the this smoke out is more or less a, a gathering of guys who build home built motorcycles and bring them out here to absolutely to, to have some fun with it and share them with other guys you won't see a, a bigger collection of this kind of bike anywhere else in the world I don't believe right? yeah yeah well, and this year, for the first time in the horse history, you have a sweepstakes, a subscription sweepstakes bike. That's right. Anyone that uh, subscribed in the last year, or even re-upped, or filled out the free uh, coupon, if you will, in the magazine and sent it in, is eligible. We'll be drawing it a little later, and uh, we're lucky winner can just take away this uh, magnificent brass ball bike. Yeah, it's a really nice piece. Um, which is pretty much uh, came from uh, Custom Chrome and Paco uh, donated the frame and the Springer. Custom Chrome donated a lot of the drive line, and uh, yeah, it's a hell of a piece. Just needs a kicker. Yeah, just needs a kicker. What are you riding now? Uh, I'm still on my shovel head. We just completed uh, quite a ride from Detroit to uh, Las Vegas, out to Death Valley, down through Phoenix, right across Texas to New Orleans, where we met up with the rest of the bugs on the long road. Right. And uh, several breakdowns on the way, but that's all part of the fun. How many uh, How many miles did you cover? Do you have any idea? Oh, well, it was a little over 48 when we got to New Orleans, so I'm not sure now. Mm -hmm. Well, 48, and then it was another, what, uh, about 700 miles here? Yeah. At yeah. least. Because yeah. we went the long way, went through Memphis. Yeah, yeah. You, you've covered some miles, yeah. Um, and and you're about to get married. Yes, I, I am. Uh, yeah, yeah. This fall sometime, hopefully. Yeah, this fall, huh? Do you know where? Well, probably going to go to Vegas. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the Elvis drive. Going at Elvis. Something I class. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, tell, tell us a little bit about the Horse Magazine, what's happening with it right now. Well, our sales, even in this depressed uh, era, still continue to climb. Uh, in Barnes & Noble, we're beating every other motorcycle magazine, which is unbelievable uh, to me anyway. Yeah. I'm the guy that puts it together. I just wonder what I'm doing <laughs> that everybody's reading. Yeah. But other than that, yo, we're doing great. I mean, uh, the economy is what it is. Yeah. Advertisers want, uh, you know, 10 pages for 20 cents. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that's the end we're dealing with now. Yeah. Back in the day, if we'd have been making these kind of sales, we'd all be on uh, limos and stuff. <laughs> As it is, I'm in a ratty uh, hardtail shovel hand. <laughs> yeah. Making repairs on the side of the road. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. Absolutely. You know, you know a, a, a little too much wealth goes can drive people right down the wrong road, yeah. Uh-oh, we got some music kicking off. So what's going on today at the Smokeout? Well, lots of stuff. We got our huge uh, bike show going on. We'll have 10 winners, no first place, 10 choppers win. Mm. And we got the amateur chop off, the winner of the B-Twin and the other, which encompasses both British and uh, Japanese. And uh, the usual mayhem, we'll be giving this beauty away today. And will the chop off will uh, will be uh, yeah, called on today too? Three, 
the pro chop out. Yeah. Then there'll be bands and yeah. another uh, yeah. wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> and it's just going to be great. Yeah. Well, here, we've got something for you. As a token of our appreciation for just being the editor of the baddest magazine on earth, we'd like to give you this little, uh, uh, a little bottle of Jack Daniels, you know? Well, of course I don't drink. But you, do, you don't drink? <laughs> <laughs> give me that back, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> hey, I'm a liar. <laughs> Thanks, well, man. I well, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time, brother. Thank you.